Hey everybody, I'm Griffin here, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. I'll hide that cursor somewhere. Alright, let's get into it. I, my eye tracker's not working today. I was moving my computer around. I uh, streamed some, some VR phasmophobia. It made me very motion sick, but it was pretty entertaining. We have a crap ton of money. Oh my... We were going to find the expensive stuff. I think this is the expensive stuff. Ooh. Okay, okay. Wait, eating meat increases our max health. So we want to find... Um, we want to find the uh, extra thing that gives us a 10% chance to spawn meat when we kill something. We want to find that very, very quickly because that could lead to us being absolutely ridiculous. You can do a game. I believe in you. Now granted, I'm a barbarian, which I'm not a huge fan of barbarians anymore, which is sad. Because I really liked barbarians in the last game. Wow, 16 max HP. We already have increased our max HP twice. Dang it, I purposely tried to avoid. Uh oh. Game, don't do this. The game has crashed. I think. Pretty sure the game has crashed. It is not responding to anything that I'm doing. Oh, well. Okay. I had to use some mana to get out of that, but when I clicked the mouse, it came back up. I also am not entirely sure what that bone in the bottom left hand corner is. I actually just don't know. Now we got our mana back, so. Uh oh, we're into the lower biome that uh, doesn't do anything. Pishon something. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. I'm confused. Oh, I could have picked. I needed to look here, and I would have realized that that was the correct one. A lot of this is just familiarity. I took a lot of damage doing that also. So 
but I really want to find that boon. And I'm going to call it a boon because I've been playing too much Hades. Though I probably should be streaming that. I've been playing it more as like a private guilty pleasure. See, I like this room, but it's another room that, like, if you're not used to what you're getting here, it's going to be really weird. Beautiful. So that's just die. Oh, I don't even really like that one. Like, this is one of the few builds that I can really get away with that. I can see this build being the build... Okay, maybe I shouldn't say this build, because we're not really a build yet. I can see this ability being one of the best in the game, but it's partially contingent on So here's the thing, I'm willing to take that hit. Because that is important resource. Even if I shouldn't be willing to take that hit, I feel like I should point out. Also, there's a chest over there that I didn't notice. And now I have to follow up on. Oh, right. I'm glad I followed up on it, but I took, just took a lot of damage. I will likely come back for this. Actually, fuck it, I'm just gonna take this. In order to heal, I'm going to need to pick up meat, which will increase my max HP anyway. Okay, we have in fact covered everything. Okay. Oh, that's that's what the relic is. Gotcha. I I mean that one as I said, getting meat just makes that one pay for itself. When I mean a relic that pays for itself is almost always going to be good. There are obviously going to be cases where it's not. The best example being uh, when paying for it, the initial pay for it kills you. Ouch. That was bad for me just because I probably could have avoided it. And this is our upper biome. Move my mouse back down. Look at that. 32 max HP. Come up here, flame lock. I mean, I am stupid. I just need to find the stupid thing that gives you meat.
If only we could get that relic. This would be a tenable run. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that relic. I'm gonna get it back after a kill. Or is that after a room? Or is that after getting hit? I'm trying to Spelunky look down. Which I uh, can't do. What I'll do for 10 gold. Forty eight max HP. Come on, meat. I hope for meat in all the storage lockers. it could be anywhere. I'm going to eventually come back to all these, but I'm trying to find the other chamber. And yes, the, the shout is every single time I get hit, it refreshes. Which is like both good and bad, of course. This is what I'm looking for. My max is so unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that I didn't get what I wanted there. I mean, look at our build right now. It's so ridiculous. Every single time we find meat, we gain more max HP. Then the meat heals. Which is funny, don't get me wrong. I am entertained by this, but it's not what I was hoping for. I'm amazed that didn't kill him. I actually don't know why it didn't kill him. I'm mad because I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to die, and it's going to be... It's going to be because I keep taking stupid damage. Especially when this build is so amazing. I'm really glad that I know that this uh, relic exists.
Oh my god, I just walked right into it. I tried to jump. I tried to jump. Like, I'm kind of mad, actually. Like, I'm kind of mad. Uh... I think I just want to go with a knight. Because we're going to try and do one more run. Because we're only at 15 minutes. I'm actually just kind of impressed that 594 doesn't do anything for us. We don't need the weight. The, the equipment part of this has gotten a lot more complicated uh, than the previous game. Like, a lot more complicated. And I don't know how much I like or hate that yet, in terms of min-maxing. Like, I don't actually understand why the leather increases your weight. I feel like that was pretty slick. I did like fully jump at that, hoping it was going to work. Man, if only I had the meat increased max HP here. I mean, I'm looking for it. I will likely take it over just about anything. Which to me says they need to buff some of the other relics. Either that or I just don't understand how good they are. I shouldn't have destroyed that. Just destroying all the things. Oh boy. Okay, I wasn't sure I could kill him in time. That was dumb. I am like sort of tending towards this upward direction. So glad that they added that little bit of invulnerability. It's doing it again. Uh, by clicking, I got out of it, so... It cost me some mana, but I think I just got it right back, so... Game. This has to be a known bug. Uh, 
Oh no, it all tabbed the wrong thing. All right, I need to alt tab to something different than my remote desktop. That way it will. Be nice to me when I alt tab again, because that seemed to fix it. Yeah, I'm being a little reckless here because I'm trying to hurry. Because I'm trying to find these. Just die. Is it worth it? I don't know. Look at that max HP loss, though. Told you I'm looking for these. I like <sighs> I'm taking this only because it seems like a good idea. Yeah, this is our Pishon 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 sounds a little bit too much like piss on. Feel like they wouldn't do that, but At least restores a decent chunk of health. Okay, that did not work at all. Get some of that health back at least, but not nearly as much as I would have hoped. So let it fire at me and then... One of these days I will get that dream build. It's not gonna be today, I don't think, but... I mean, arguably it could still happen, but... I've exhausted most of the relics. And starting with one of the relics that I want is gonna be the easiest way to acquire one of those builds. And honestly, the chef is gonna be the way to get it. Because you get so much benefit I'm a little sad that you actually managed to hit me there. Just gonna hope we get some more goodies out of the lanterns. We're not, but we could have. I 
had to check. Could have gotten something out of that. All right. There's still a bunch of rooms we haven't cleared that I probably am going to go back to clear because we're still at the point of the game where money making is still very important for gaining stats. I know that room isn't clear, but I'm going to get to that later. I'm also just impressed I don't, every single time I don't get hit by those. So it's, it's good to notice um, that they actually have a little bit of jump forgiveness. Just a little bit. Uh, and that is that you can jump after having left a ledge briefly. So if, if I just run off this ledge and jump right in the middle of space right there, now, I don't get to jump. If I do it right after having left the ledge, it's right there. Oh, it's close. Technically my feet have left the ledge, but it prevents things like uh, input lag from basically screwing people as hard as it could. Which as it turns out, you don't want to do. Because input lag feels bad. It's not a... Uh, I mean, to a degree, it is skill if you get good enough to compensate for it. But that's, like, not a good target. You don't want somebody to have a bigger difficulty playing your game because of something that is technically outside of their control. Like, yes, they maybe could buy a, like, input can, input lag is, like, a really weird thing to have nowadays, but there are reasons why you might have it. You know, I, I can't I honestly think of any off the top of my head, but it might be something along the lines of, you know, your computer is slow or something like that. So it, that extra little bit of forgiveness doesn't really cost much for the developers. Like, yeah, it, it costs a little bit of extra coding, but let's be honest, that's not that bad. Um, but what it does is it creates an extra accessibility to the game. And it makes the game feel better. And it's not like they've made the game significantly easier having done so. Like, it's not like because you did that, suddenly the game is broken easy. Because it's not. The platforming sections are a little bit easier, perhaps. But, is that really a bad thing? The answer is no. Still a lot up here. I'm not willing to take either of those. They're too expensive. As it is, I've actually recovered most of the health that I traded away. Arguably, the amount that I traded for the 10% increase in damage isn't worth it. Like, and when I say arguably, I mean it kind of wasn't. I'm a little upset about that one. This is, yep, this is our upper biome. This is going to be a, a longer episode.
Hey, we're back to full health. And just like that, we're not. Alright, um... Well, what do you know? And once again, the fact that they added that uh, is really good. That, that little bit of forgiveness that you just saw right there, another great example of trade-offs in a game that are very heavily favored for the player in a good way. Um, like, we could have... It, like, it used to be... Okay, that, that one stings a little bit. Because uh, what it used to be is you just had to remember that that's how that was. That, that that's where those spikes were, and I would have already taken damage. But by allowing them to spawn in and then deal damage... Uh, creates a situation in which you're not testing a player's memory. Okay, we actually have to bounce off of this thing. Nice, what did we get? The Scholar Trinkets. It's just bad on my part. Got some healing out of it, but that was not very worth it in the long run. The fact that this is one long room... Oh my gosh. in there like, I don't know what could possibly be in there that's worth whatever shenanigans is going on because I'm actually already going to die I forget that you can in fact stand on those I'm sorry, I, I, I hit. I tried to get the shield up in time, but failed. I really want to get past this area by doing smart things instead of stupid things. But I keep doing stupid things.
Ooh. Gain armor every time you drink a potion. That's good. I think that's a good rune, because armor is almost as good as health. I'm glad I hesitated there. Oh gosh, I couldn't see that it was about to attack. I figured it was about to attack. Oh my god, guys. Holy shit. God damn it. I'm a little upset. Cause I'm I'm skating the line here. And I've got an itch on my forehead, Jesus, that's been last that's lasted forever. Had meat. Pizza place. Hi, stranger. Fancy meeting you in these parts. Not much goes on around here. We're just here to deliver a pizza, but it looks like it. I took a bad turn and now I'm off. No, my name's Maria. Don't mind the outfit, just temporary until I get my official dud. So it brings you here. Let me guess. You're one of them hero types from the surface that's trying to save the poor folks trapped here. A bit late for that. Nothing but rubble and driftless souls hungry for the occasional pizza pie. Anyway, thanks for finding me. I think I can find my way back the way you came. Delivering pizzas is tough. Delivering pizza in an ever-changing world is tougher. Pizza Girl will now help you on your journey. Spoilers, it has nothing to do with pizza. I'm both confused and concerned. I'm imagining this is a biome that doesn't exist yet. Hey stranger, told you we'd meet again. What do you mean I was talking to your ancestor? Oh, <laughs> it's funny because it's actually me. You all seem similar to me. Same walk as far as I can tell. Let me reintroduce myself. Name's Maria. Pizza delivery girl by day and amateur archaeologist by night. Delivering food isn't easy when everything s keeps shifting. One step in the wrong direction and you could be the lost lamb I was one generation ago. But some of us can feel the shift. We know where places will be and how to get there. And that's how I, you and I can work together. This portal here, they're bound to currents. Use one portal to keep going back to it, but a shift happens. If a shift happens, you lose it. I've been studying these portals and using them for deliveries for a while now, so I've grown pretty attuned to the currents. If you give me enough resources, I can unlock this portal for you permanently. So what do you say? If you traverse the world faster, I can help feed these poor people. It's a win-win. All I need is 2,000 gold. So, was it a bad idea? I don't know, but I can get halfway through this now, I guess. It's an interesting idea, creating these permanent shortcuts. But now I have to try and get through the rest of this alive. Yep, dead. I had to really hope there was something there, but alas, there was not. Our knight rank goes up, so we gained equip rank, I guess, which is a thing. Lady Ruth the Fourth. Okay, Disattuned is an interesting, but also, uh, I love me some cook. So, let's do it. Now, I did sacrifice 2,000 gold, which means I can't afford to do some of the other stuff uh, that I wanted to do, but that's okay. But we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna unlock this. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought we'd unlock something else. 595 isn't enough to buy anything again. 
Anyway, actually it might be enough to buy that one rune. Oh my gosh. 25% less health, but you can only be hit in the heart. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. I guess I can buy some of these. We should buy this one soon. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. But until then, keep your gears turning.